Good morning, you guys. I will put a screenshot of this email in this video so you can pause it and read it if you want to yourself. Um, right there, I got it on the 27th of March. And this is from the Dupuytren's Research Group. And I am involved in a study for Dupuytren's disease because I have it severe in my hands. And they've, uh, they've picked me along with uh, 50 people. Well, it would be 49. I'm in the group of 50. Right there, 50 people with Dupuytren's. And they want to do a study to try to learn about this disease, to try to find a cure. Um, I've been in uh, constant contact um, with this group, and Charles Eaton um, is uh, right there, Charles Eaton. He is the one that founded this research group, and he's based out of Florida. But they're not explaining how I am to basically do what I need to do. There's supposed to be a website with a secure link so I can send them information. However, they want eight tablespoons of blood, approximate, approximately eight tablespoons of blood, but they do not explain to me how do I do that. You know, I would have to have a lab order or a doctor's orders to go to a lab to have a vial of blood drawn, and then I'd have to have a some way to ship it to them like in some secure package or something um, because how would I get eight tablespoons of blood on my own that they, they don't explain that and I've been in contact with uh, the director um, her name is Rebecca Schumacher right there and she doesn't tell me and I, I want to be able to help them to get information to help find a cure for this terrible disease they also want me to send pictures if I have pictures of my hands well I've got lots of uh, photos of my hands with this disease which I'll include in this video and I've also got a video clip um, which is graphic but I got a video clip of when I came home from my my uh, fourth surgery of having this disease removed out of my hand and uh, I've got it in both hands and I have to have more surgeries, but because of this pandemic, I can't have or schedule surgery right now because they need the machines for people that can't breathe. Because when you get put under, you're put on a ventilator and the ventilators have been removed, so non-essential surgery can't happen right now. So that's why my surgeries have been put on hold. Um, because other people need those machines, but I do need more surgery now because it's gotten so much worse but uh, Yeah, the video that I can show in this video is graphic So if you don't want to see something gory, um, you want you might want to stop the video right now because it shows uh, Unwrapping my hand after I had the fourth surgery done and it's something I could submit to them so they have this uh, documented uh, information that they could learn from and I don't have any problem sending them pictures or videos but the blood I have no idea how I get eight tablespoons of blood to them without some kind of lab order you know and it being done right I mean it'd have to be drawn out by a nurse with a needle and you know it's not something I can do myself at home so but they don't they just don't tell me how to do that I don't know if they'll find a cure for it. I hope they do. I mean, that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm involved in this study. I hope they find a cure for it because it's something that just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, even after I had the surgery on my left hand, you can see where the disease jumped to the other side. See how raised up that is? Right here. When they took it out of my hand, it all it did was move over and it went to the other side of my hand right there. And it, it gets raised up and it gets hot and it, and it throbs. I mean, I get a lot of pain in my hands. So that's why I need more surgeries. And then, and then on this hand, this finger won't bend back all the way. That's all the further back I can bend it. And you can see the dents in there and the finger's getting really fat right here on the bottom. See there how much it's, it's sticking down? That finger is getting really, really fat and it, and I can't I can't bend 
the hand back. That's all the further it goes. So I need to have a full palmar fasciectomy because it's pulling on that tendon right there. And uh, it's painful. So that's why I'm waiting until after this pandemic and then I can schedule the further surgeries that I have to have. But uh, once I hear from them to where how I can get them the blood, then they can do a study on the Dupuytrens that I have to try to find out why someone like me has it and, and another person doesn't. They don't understand why someone gets it and someone else don't. I don't even know why. I don't know. Nobody knows. But anyway, guys, I'll keep you posted on what I find out on this study because this has been going on a long time that I've been in communication with them. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to help other people with this condition. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.